We received it. We received the arbitrator's ruling yesterday on uh, our body-worn cameras. The ruling basically is in relationship to the procedures, the policies and procedures that have been put into place to to actually provide guidance and hold officers accountable for the use of the body camera. There was just one bit of information in those procedures. There was one thing in those procedures that the FOP uh, could not agree with, that management could not agree with, that uh, we had some conflict with, which is primarily uh, when, when you can look at those, when you can look at the videos. When, when can management or when can supervisors look at the videos? Uh, it's our position that supervisors do need to periodically look at those videos. We need to look at it, we need to go in and we need to audit how the video is being used periodically by the officers uh, in order to make sure that officers are complying with the policies and procedures, turning them on and off when they're supposed to, those types of things. Um, I know the FOP has a concern that, that supervisors would, would use that to, to harass or to try to find fault with an officer on an ongoing basis. I can understand that argument. Uh, there's possibility some compromises that we can make to help alleviate that, but it's not going to alleviate it completely because I still feel like supervisors, uh, supervisors need the ability to go in and look at it to make sure that officers are complying with the policies, procedures, and using the camera. The cameras were taking, taken off the street last night because we're not going to have officers using cameras if we don't have any guidelines for the use of those cameras.